A website requests user to create a password containing alphanumeric characters, including lowercase a to z and uppercase letters a to z and numbers from 0 to 9, but with no special characters allowed. The password requires to be at least 5 characters, but no more than 8 characters long and must contain at least one uppercase letter and at least one number from 0 to 9. Repetition of numbers and letters are allowed. How many different passwords can be created that satisfy these criteria? We start with considering all possible alphanumeric combinations without any restrictions on the number of uppercase letters or number of uh, digits. So this is kind of a all-inclusive, without restriction, alphanumeric combinations that we can have for a password. And for the character length, we start with five characters because the problem specifies that the minimum length of the password needs to be Five characters. So we start with five characters and later on we'll see how to tackle more characters as long as we have a game plan of how to do this for, for five character password. So without any restrictions, uh, I have you know the five placeholders laid out for each of the five characters and the first a placeholder could be filled by any one of these characters from uppercase A to Z, so that's 26 characters in total, or any one of those lowercase A to Z, so that's also 26 characters, or by any one of those numbers from 0 to 9, which is, you know, 10 different numbers. So if I add up all of these, we have, you know, 62 different ways. So 26 plus 26 plus 10, that makes 62. So we have 62 different ways of filling up the first placeholder. And for each of the 62 ways of filling up the first placeholder, the second placeholder can be also filled up in 62 ways because we are allowing here for repetition of characters and numbers, right? So, so we could have the same number or, or same character occupying the first two places. So for each way of filling up the first placeholder, the second placeholder can be filled up also in 62 ways. So taken together, both of the first two placeholders can be filled up in a total of 62 multiplied by 62 ways. And the same logic would apply for the third placeholder and the fourth placeholder and the fifth placeholder. So we're considering no restrictions or no requirements of number of uh, uppercase or number of uh, uh, digits. So without any restrictions, we have a total of 62 to the power 5 uh, ways of uh, selecting uh, characters from this alphanumeric combinations for our password. And remember, this is only considering a, a password that's 5 characters long. So next we consider the cases where the password would be disallowed because it fails to meet you know one of those two criteria so we start with this one first where we have alphanumeric combinations for these five characters but no uppercase letter is allowed so these combinations won't have a single uppercase letter and so they're not admissible as a password so i'm you know color coding the inadmissible uh, cases in red here just to make it easier to distinguish. So the first one for consideration is alphanumeric combinations for the five characters with no uppercase letter allowed. So once again we have the five placeholders but this time we are only considering characters from lowercase a to z and digits from 0 to 9, numbers from 0 to 9. So we have a total of 36 different ways of filling up the first placeholder and for each such way of filling up the first placeholder the second placeholder can be also filled up in 36 ways and so on because we are allowing 
reputation of of the characters right so taken together these five places can be filled up in a total of 36 to the power of five ways so these 36 to the power of five combinations uh, would be a subset of the all possible alpha neuronic combinations that we calculated earlier which was 60 to the power of five so this 36 to the power of five is combinations are essentially a subset of those 60 to the power 5 combinations and this particular subset will be inadmissible because it fails to meet the requirement of at least one uppercase letter because these don't have any uppercase letter and again in a similar way we can calculate the number of alphanumeric combinations without any numbers from 0 to 9 for those five characters and we have those five placeholders and this time we are allowing uh, you know only uppercase letters from a to z so that's 26 characters and lowercase letters from a to c so that's another 26 characters so a total of 52 different ways to fill up the first placeholder and so on for the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth and taken all together we have 52 to the power 5 uh, different uh, ways or different combinations of characters where there are no numbers so we have the total number of alphanumeric combinations without any restrictions and then we have the alphanumeric combinations which don't have an upper case so that's 36 to the power 5 and which don't have a number which is 50 to the power 5 and remember the requirement is at least one uppercase letter and at least one number so we are if we, if we subtract the the cases in red the subsets in red from the total number of alphanumeric combinations uh, this would give us the number of passwords that are allowed so the number of allowed passwords, if you subtract, comes to 62 to the power 5 minus 52 to the power 5 minus 36 to the power 5. Now the question is, is this the right number of allowed passwords for five characters? So this is where the, the problem needs one level deeper thinking. So if you look at the number of inadmissible uh, you know, cases that we had, so, so no uppercase and, and no numbers, so there is actually some overlap in that, in those two. And what's the overlap? Well, the overlap in those two cases are basically, you know, the, those character combinations where the five characters contain only lowercase a to z. And that's also a disallowed uh, password. So, so that, that case, that, those cases are also disallowed, right? because they have only lowercase a to c, so no uppercase or no numbers. And, and that's okay, they're disallowed. But the fact is that they have been included twice. So, so in both of our considerations with no uppercase and uh, no numbers, those cases have been included. So they have been included twice. So we now need to find out how many such cases are there when those five characters will contain only a to z. So for each of those five placeholders we have only 26 different ways of filling up so so small a to z is, is 26 characters right so this is easy so we have a total of 26 to the power of five such cases and these are inadmissible cases because they don't satisfy the requirement of at least one uppercase letter at least one number but the problem is when we subtract the the total number of inadmissible cases we have included these subset of 26 to the power 5 inadmissible cases twice so that's why this the one in green that we have right now is not the correct answer because we need to correct for including those cases twice so we need to add 26 to the power 5 back to these number of cases and now we have the correct number of allowed passwords for five characters so the problem doesn't still end here because we still have to consider you know the cases where the characters are more than 
Well, the password is more than five characters long. So the password could be five characters long, six characters long, seven characters long, or eight characters long. So it can't be no more than eight characters according to the problem. So let's just uh, make some room here. Just clean up the space. So we carry over the result we had for five characters long, uh, which is 62 to the power 5 minus 52 to the power 5 minus 36 to the power 5. And then we added back those 26 to the power 5 uh, inadmissible cases, which we included twice when we subtracted. Uh, so so that, that corrects the number of allowed passwords for five characters long. Now... We can now generalize these because, you know, even if the password is, you know, something else instead of five, say n characters long, we could potentially apply the same method, method the same, same principle, and we could essentially calculate uh, it for n characters as 62 to the power n minus 52 to the power n minus 36 to the power n plus 26 to the power n. And then the number of allowed values of n according to the problem are 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if we consider uh, you know, each of those cases, we can find uh, the number of allowed passwords for, for 5 characters, 6 characters, 7 characters, 8 characters, and then we find the total number of allowed passwords by summing those up. And when we sum them up, this is you know, the, the result that we get. And I didn't calculate further because this is, you know, a, a very big number. It's very intense calculation, and I don't think you need to calculate this. But this is a, a tricky problem in itself, and I think showing this result uh, is valuable enough uh, for the problem to be considered solved.